finally, it's here. We've all collectively waited <laughs> for this day for a long time. No one longer than y'all. And speaking on behalf of your friends and family, we are thrilled to be gathered here today to celebrate what is clearly, based on Logan's reaction, <laughs> one of the happiest moments in the lives of Logan Ridge and Katie Lotta. Katie's always been a fire. She's always had passion. She's always had spirit. She's always been a force. And suddenly she was madly in love. And we were privileged to spend quite a bit of time with them when they were living with the Lattas. We were home two and a half years ago. And it's obvious that Logan is intelligent and creative and strong and kind. But he's also your home. And she is yours. It's been a privilege to watch you two become one on this journey already. been friends since we were seven. I am so thankful to have had a front row seat to your love story. It is one of the joys of my life and I will always be thankful to be a part of your lives. Katie and Logan are two people that, for all of us who know them, they champion your happiness. And I know I speak for many in this room when I say that we can be the best versions of ourselves because of Logan and Katie. That's how I knew, Logan, that you were going to be the perfect fit for our family. It's the way you love your family, Lo. I knew that you were gonna take that same energy and love my sister for exactly who she is. And I'm so grateful for that. It's remarkable to me how God knit their stories together. He took a boy from the West Coast and a girl from the South who were perfect for each other and he brought them together. It makes sense that God would do this, doesn't it? They're such a good match and balance for each other. In fact, to me, Logan and Katie are God's gift to one another because our Bible teaches that our Heavenly Father knows how to give good and perfect gifts to His children. Every time you look at one another, it is right and good to be assured that God loves you, that He is committed to you. He is committed to seeing this union through many, many more seasons. You are each living, breathing, laughing, crying reminders of God's goodness in each other's lives. There was one thing that I kept going back to every time I thought about our vows, and it's your favorite flower, the sunflower, right? And I learned, as sunflowers grow, they spin around and they're always facing the sun as it rises and as it sets. However, when it's cloudy or when it's dark and they can't find the sun, they turn to each other. So my promise to you is that I'll always be your sun in the good times and your sunflower in the dark times. I will always support you. I will always be there for you. I will always be your number one fan, waving around a foam finger that says, Katie's my number one. <laughs> but above all else, 
I promise to never stop loving you more than any person can love any other person. I love you the most. You can't beat that. <laughs> I knew when I met you that we can be something great. You've constantly encouraged and cheered and fiercely loved me. I'm so grateful to have found a man <laughs> that loves me so well and has taught me to stop and slow down and find joy even in the simplest of things. I promise to always pursue and to fight for you with the same fire and passion that I've had since day one of laying eyes on you. I promise to put us first in everything that we do, to cherish the time that we spend together, the memories that we'll keep making just us and with our kids. I promise to listen to you about the big things, the small things, and everything in between. When life gets hectic, I will always remember that we're in this together. I promise to choose you every day, even on the hard ones. Thank you for being my confidant and my biggest fan and my favorite person to do life with. And I'm so happy that we're finally here. I love you the most. I got to go last, so. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife.